All right, so I'm going to work on this activity and kind of bleed into the next activity as we go. Uh, I've already got the data part of the script written here, and I'm in the working directory. So here, if I hit run, 11.2, give it a second to load everything up, data.shape. Perfect. So it seems to be all set up good. That's good. So what does it say we have to do? Plot data two and data three. Okay, so this shouldn't be too bad. Data two, the plot data three. Plot dot show. Okay, run the script again. There we go. Okay, so what do we see here? Well, excluding this giant chunk right here, if we zoom in, down here, you can notice something kind of interesting. You'll notice that the blue and yellow seem to be moving in opposite directions. You'll see when yellow goes up, blue goes down. When blue goes up, yellow goes down. And what were the two and three bits of the data? Well, that was flu, which is blue here, and ice cream, which is yellow. Which is interesting, because it seems like flu and ice cream seem to be moving in different directions. With the exception of, I mean, this giant spike right here. And I don't know, something was going on down there, I don't know. But it looks like between 0 and like 250, there seems to be this kind of trend. Okay, so let's... Interesting to note. And then we're told, okay, let's compute the Pearson correlation. So correlation is just like a, a statistic that kind of tells you how alike data is. A correlation score of 1 means the data moves perfectly together, and a correlation score of 0 means completely unrelated, and a Pearson correlation score of negative 1 means they move in opposite directions perfectly. Okay, I'm going to use this import statement here, right here, there we go, and I'm going to call this function right here. All right, so I'm going to put it before the plot. There we go. And I'm going to change this, of course, to data 2 and data 3. And we're going to print that out. So let's run the script again, close the plot. And we see a, we have a correlation score of negative 0.06. And that's really close to zero. That, that means it's not really related. The data is really not related to each other. But remember, we had that weird outlier bit of data. So if we do the same thing, but only look at the first 250 time points, I'm thinking we might actually get kind of an interesting correlation score. So let's rerun our script, but only comparing the first 250 time points. Okay, close the plot. What do we have? Ah, negative 0.538. So not a huge correlation score, but there's something there, which we did see in the data when we plotted it. So that's kind of cool. Anyways, let's move on past that. We can actually be super, super lazy and compute the whole correlation matrix, which will basically compute the correlation score of the four pieces of data we have against the other four pieces of data we have. And then we can uh, plot it in what we'll call a match show plot. Okay, so I'm just gonna comment this line out here and let's get rid of these plots. And what does it say here? Okay, perfect. I'm just going to copy this, change this to NP, and then I'm going to call this plot, plt.matshow, M-A-T-S-H-O-W. And we're going to match show core. And then plt.show, oh, we need to turn that to a period. Let's run our script. Cool. So we, I mean, I don't really know what the colors mean here, so I'm actually going to dot color bar. There, let's rerun the script. There, now we have a color bar telling us what's what. And we'll see yellow means a correlation score of one. So we've got, what is it? Vampire is zero, zombie is one, flu is two, and three is ice cream. And similar here. So we're comparing everything to everything else. And we'll see that everything is perfectly correlated with itself, which makes sense. And all the other colors are how else they're relating to each other. So that's kind of cool. And we can even, I don't know, take 
everything and only compare the first 250 time points, maybe we'll see something different. Because remember, we saw something a little different before when we compared two and three. There we go. So now everything seems to be around zero, excluding the diagonal. But we do have that purple, which is around negative 0.5, which was, remember, the correlation score between two and three, which was flu and ice cream. Which makes sense, right? Because maybe everyone's getting sick in the winter and everyone wants ice cream in the summertime. So again, I mean, it's pretty cool what the data can tell you.